Hey what's up guys, I'm back here with a list of best Android apps for the Galaxy S6. These apps can run on any Android device, not only the S6. Since S6 is a new device, you will be installing or searching for a lot of applications. So make sure to check out my other episodes for essential Android apps. I will leave the links in the description. And the apps that I'm listing in this video will definitely enhance your overall user experience with your new Android device. So let's get started. The first one here is the Droop. Droop brings a unique way to access your contacts. After installation, you get a small trigger icon on your home screen, lock screen or while using any apps. But this icon will not interfere while you are using full screen apps like gaming or watching videos. You can just swipe this icon to access your favorite contacts or recents. Over here, you can tap on any contact then drag and drop on the respective app through which you want to contact them. For example, if I want to call this contact, I simply drag and drop the icon contact to phone. Similarly, if I want to email or send messages using different apps, I can do that as well. At the bottom, we have search options via numbers or names. From settings, you can change the default view on launch, choose applications on the main screen, change themes, lock screen options, thumb swipe that lets you choose your shortcut easily with your thumb and orientation to choose where you want to switch sides between contacts and accents. So this is very useful as you can set this app as per your dominant hand. Also you can move this trigger icon anywhere it's convenient. So a very useful application. The next one here is the Lightroom. S6 surely does take amazing pictures. But sometimes you need to process those images for a much refined picture. For that you will need an app that provides professional editing capabilities. So this is where Lightroom comes in which is one of the best photo editing app as it provides desktop class editing on your phone. From here you can choose the white balance. Also you can set your custom white balance like you can give the temperature, tint, exposure, contrast and so on. Similarly, you have a second option which is like adding filters. And last option is to arrange the grid size. A sweet little add-on is you can always double tap the picture to undo your last action. So that's pretty handy. Once you are done with the editing, you can export the image to your gallery. Another handy feature is that it has cloud support. That means all the photos that you have edited using this app will automatically sync to your email ID. So guys, the attention to detail from Adobe in this mobile version of Lightroom is just amazing. I suggest you guys to try this app. So a professional photo editing app there. The next one here is the Yo window. S6 comes with a beautiful and minimalistic weather widget. But sometimes you need a functional and a fancy weather widget that not only gives the weather info but also comes with eye candy features to show it off to your friends. So Yo Window is a great weather app with detailed weather infos as well as exciting features. As you can see we have a background based on the current weather and location. I can tap here to get additional details like mist, pressure, humidity and slide for other infos. We also get a sound effect based on the current weather status. So this is something very unique about this application. Over here we have a slider to jump to other time of the day and see the weather info. And as we slide we get this animation as well as the background changes according to the time you have selected. At the top we have up to 2 weeks of weather forecast. I can tap on any days to see the weather information. Tapping here will allow you to choose your background landscapes. And from here you can change your location and add new locations. We have options for updating the weather, set the background as a wallpaper. So this will set the current weather animation as your live wallpaper. Back to the settings we have units, effects and other options. We also get a variety of widgets for this application. So a fancy weather app that takes advantage of the S6 beautiful display. 
The next one here is the 1Password. One 1Password one is a one-stop solution to securely store your bank account details, credit card details, email accounts, identity, login details, secure notes, and many more. As S6 comes with a lot of features like Samsung Pay, you will be saving a lot of private infos on your phone. So this app will securely save all your confidential infos. Here you have a list of items that you have saved, like bank account details, driver license, email accounts, and login details. You can tap here to sync the app so that all the information between your devices are updated whenever you make a change. And it's good to see that as far as storage and syncing is concerned, we have the Dropbox support. You can tap here to add items. And another thing to mention here is, while you are using this app, if you lock your phone or press the home button, and again if you want to access 1Password, you are required to give your password. So this feature makes this app more secure. It also comes with a built-in secure browser. Like when you are adding a login detail, you can give an URL as well so that you can directly go to that page and autofill the login details. A very handy feature as you don't have to type in your details every time. So a secure app for passwords and other sensitive items that you need to keep safe. The next one here is the Feedly. This app is a great way to stay updated on news and articles related to your favorite topics like tech, YouTube, sports, business, etc. Say for example, let's go to tech and here you get a list of top sites regarding tech. So you can add it to your news feed. And now from the sliding menu, you can select tech to get all the trending news and info. The UI is also user friendly. You can slide left or right to go to the next or previous article. Plus, you also get a bunch of sharing options. And when you have reached the end of an article, you can just slide up to close it. This app also comes with a handy feature called saved for later which will save the article for offline reading. You can simply tap and hold to save an article. You can slide left to search and browse for a topic. You can search for topic by typing here or choose topic from the recommendations below like tech, design, food, news, etc. Lower below you have featured collection by different peoples. Also this app supports multiple languages. Sliding to the right will bring these shortcuts to go to home or your saved folder. Explore will bring up highlights from all the topics. We also get a widget, which is really nice as you can place a widget on your home screen and go through the headlines. The next one in the list is a wallpaper app. Actually two wallpaper apps, completely different from each other. Since we have a gorgeous display on the S6, as well as it has amazing color reproduction, complementing this display with awesome wallpapers is a must. So the first wallpaper app is called Color Pro. The UI is very simple and all the wallpapers you get with this app is oil painted. Really high quality wallpapers and awesome paintings. You can select the one you like and then tap onto this icon and then hit set wallpaper. Else you can also download the wallpapers and save it to your gallery. So a very unique collection of wallpapers there. Next is HD wallpapers. I'm very proud to present this application since a fellow friend of mine have created this app. So you get awesome wallpapers as you can see. You can sort your wallpapers based on different categories. And it's really good to see some new categories like material design, stock OEM, hipster and so on. Setting the wallpaper is also very easy. Just select the picture you want and hit apply. Else you can also save it to your gallery. The next one here is the finger gesture launcher. This is a great way to control your device with simple gestures. As you can see, I have a list of gestures set for different actions. Let me quickly show you how this works. So let's add a new gesture. Now we can choose from a bunch of actions like open system settings, launch an application, shortcut, recent tasks, lock your device, and if you are rooted, we have root features like reboot, recovery, etc. 
let's say I want to open an app. So choosing an app here, now hit next and draw a gesture for it. We have to draw the gesture four times for better recognition. Once you are done, on the home screen you see this floating icon which you can move around and place anywhere you want. So tap onto this icon to activate the gesture launcher and then draw the gesture. For example, I have defined the circle to launch camera, a line to lock the device, P to launch the dialer and so on. You can always hide this trigger icon by long pressing it and bring it back from the notification panel. It's worth mentioning that the gesture recognition is really good and you also get a widget to launch the gesture pad. The next one here is the KineMaster. With an awesome camera on the Galaxy S6, you will surely be taking a lot of pictures and videos. And sometimes you need to create or edit the videos right on your phone. So this app is perfect for that purpose. Let me just quickly show you how this is done. First you can choose from videos and photos on your device. And then hit next. You can give the opening and ending title if you want to. Then you can choose from themes. Each theme has its own music and transition effects. Once all this is done, you can slide to get the preview. Selecting any frame will give you additional tools to edit them like rotate, position, clip effects, title effects, video editing tools like trimming, filters, brightness and saturation controls, transition effects and many other tools that are required for professional video editing. Then on the right hand side you have undo and redo, audio fade in and fade out options, you can add additional clips and pictures on your existing project as well. Add a music to your video and so on. Once you are done with your editing, you can go back and then render the video. And it's really good to see that this app can render videos at HD resolution. If you want to know more about this application, you can go on to help and settings menu. Over here you get tips and tricks, advanced features, guide messages, recording options and so on. So one of the best video editing application for your Android device. The next one here is Push Bullet. Push Bullet is one of the fastest and easiest way to get links, notes, files and addresses both from your computer to your mobile device and vice versa. Once you have the app installed on your phone, now you need to go on to pushbullet.com on your computer and sign in using the same ID. It's important to note that you can set up Push Bullet on as many Android devices as you need. And from your desktop, you will be able to easily choose to which device you want to push data. Also, if you install the Push Bullet app on your computer, you will be able to access your phone's notification. Like, if I get a call, I will be notified on my computer as well as respond to my notifications right from the computer. So it's the same with SMS, WhatsApp or any other notifications. We also get something called universal copy and paste. That is, if I want to copy this text and paste it to my computer, I can do that. So this feature is very handy if you want to save something directly to your computer from your phone. So all in all, with Push Bullet, you can perform a lot of tasks enhancing the overall functionality of your phone. Last but not the least is the Office Suite. Carrying a smartphone is no less than having a portable PC at your pocket. With powerful capabilities that the smartphone offers, we would like to perform all sorts of tasks right on the phone itself. And that includes capabilities to create, edit and view Office documents, PDF files, Excel sheets and so on. So this app is one of the best Office apps for your device. Here we have the recent files. And here we have the slider menu to go to templates, documents, bookmarks and other options to add a storage, view and edit files on the local area network, add a cloud account and go to the settings. So cloud support will allow you to access your documents and files from anywhere you want so that you can work on your existing document or save them directly to your cloud storage. So let's create a document. 
Here we have options to create a Word document, spreadsheet, or create a presentation. You also get a recommendation for other apps like PDF scanner, dictionary, and so on. Now let's create a Word document. Here we have the file options for opening, saving documents, home options for fonts, style, spacing, insert options, layouts, review, and view options. So guys, we get all the tools required for word processing. And from the top, we can undo, redo, enter full screen mode, or hide these options. Similarly, for spreadsheets and presentations, we have all the tools required, as you can see here. So with this app, we don't miss out on office tools that we get with the desktop version. This app also comes with a widget showing all your recent files. So a great office app. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video useful. I will be coming up with more contents very soon. Stay tuned for more. Till then you guys have a great time.